What's up, y'all? We back. Welcome to another episode of Cooking with Tink. Today we're making, we're making a special sandwich that I might try out on the trailer when we get it going. Um, I got my rye bread. I'm going to make some French toast out of this rye bread. I got my butter. First, we're going to butter this grill up. Mm -hmm. Get this griddle nice and buttered up. This is the last time I'm going to be using this griddle. We've got to get another one. But, I'm sorry, griddle. we got to go. So, we're going to take this. Now, I'm going to a food um, truck the other day. I was gonna do a food review on it, but my phone died. I'm not gonna say the name. There's no. It's off of. Um, I want to say Freebus. It's off of Freebus. It's out there by the. Uh, the hell is that store? Whatever it is, I can't remember. It's off of Freebus. It's a little bit past that gas station. Then it's a tire shop. Then go up a little bit more, and it's like a. Um, Y'all had to figure it out yourself. I already done spilled most of the beans, so I got my French toast going. All right. I got some French toast from there. I got some turkey bacon from there, and I got some eggs from there. Um. It was absolutely horrible. And when I say horrible, I mean absolutely horrible. I'm 100% sure that French toast was pre-made French toast. It, like, you know, the, in the Eggo box, Lego my Eggo box, they just took it out and put it on the grill because you can tell when you make French toast. Look, see that? You can tell when you just made French toast because a little bit of egg would be hanging over or something like that. This, it was just like, oh man, wasn't nothing hanging off the side. I took a bite into it. It just looked like straight bread inside. It was disgusting. The turkey bacon, I like uncured turkey bacon, as y'all know. I'm about to get that out for y'all real quick. Hold on. Like I was saying, I like uncured turkey bacon. The difference between uncured and this regular turkey bacon is this ain't got like that plastic coating on it. The uncured turkey bacon is more like bacon once it, once it cooks. It tastes a lot better too. That butterball turkey bacon is trash. It's completely trash. If you look at that, it's like it don't have like that plastic film on the outside like on the other turkey bacon. Because, and that's exactly what she gave me. It was disgusting. The eggs were not scrambled eggs. They were just like a fried egg with cheese and she just let it cook and then flipped it over twice it was disgusting i mean it was the worst breakfast i've ever had and i went to my phone one day i already did a review on that and that review would have probably been good but it was it was awful it was awful so i got my turkey bacon going slide to the side let's get that going all right we took four pieces i'm gonna put one piece each on the sandwich And so the whole time we're doing that, that's still soaking in there. You gotta let it soak up. You gotta let, if you cook in French toast, you gotta let it soak up all that egg. All right? Take it out, let the drippings fall off, because you're gonna need that later on for the next piece. Just let it fall off. It's gonna do its own work. It's gonna do its own work. It's gonna work for you. Then once you think you know you got that amount you need to fall off, throw it on the grill. That's it. Throw it on the grill. Get your next piece in. All right? Get it nice and coated. In that egg. Mm -hmm. Oh, we got y'all wonder what's right here? Under these tuna cans? I got my turkey sausage under there. Turkey sausage under there. I put it on there so I can get a sear on that because I like them like that. But that's why I do that. Um, we'll be right back. Let me check. Again, the egg does its own work. See that? I'm telling you, if you could have seen that, that, that damn, I should have took a picture of my mouth. Like I said, my phone was good. If you could have seen the damn French toast they gave me, it was terrible. All right? So we got our French toast going. Let's give it a little look. See. All right. And when I say I like that sear on that sausage, I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. When I say I like that sear on that sausage. All right. See that? That's how I want my turkey sausage to look. Just like that. Just like that. Don't that look better than just cooking it and it look like that. I know some restaurants they give you and it look just like that. Nah. I need that sear on mine, y'all. I need that sear on mine. Put my top back on it. Still got my bacon cooking. We're going to be back. I'm going to flip this French toast over and we're going to show y'all the sandwich we're going to make. I got to throw my eggs on because we're going to have scrambled eggs on it too. Yeah, yeah. Egg on top of egg with bacon and sausage on it. Yeah. See, this is how you want your French toast to look when you flip it over. See that? That's how you want it to look. See how I got the little crispy edges coming off? Hers didn't have nothing. That's how I knew it came out the box. See that? See right here? You just chop them edges off. No, hers was just like yellow. And it was like, you can just tell it just came straight out the box. Ain't nothing out the box about this. Get my own edge. I ain't going to tell y'all what I put in them. But just know it's going to be good. Now my other one's going. This one's for my wife right here. I get, I get what's left over like always. But it's okay. I ain't tripping. All right, so we got our turkey bacon going, we got our French toast going, and these sausages should be done. See this look? See that? 
both sides got that micro seal on both sides that's what you want we're gonna take these sausages we're gonna put them right here on the counter we're gonna chop them up all right we're gonna chop them into strips so they're going on the sandwich all it's too little to just put on this big piece of bread so i'm gonna slide them out through all parts of the sandwich all right it's turkey sauce this turkey sauce is really good if you ever want to try a sausage that tastes close to the real pork sauce that you get get that Butterball turkey sauce. Again, put that sear on it. Because it brings a lot of flavor to the sauce. So put that sear on it. I can't tell the difference between this and regular sauces. I promise you. So try this and it's a lot healthier. And I feel bad because the business, we're talking about that truck again. The business is black on. I, honestly, when I pulled up to it, I thought it was a Mexican truck. I ain't gonna lie. I had burritos and stuff on the outside of it. Then I got there. I'm like, okay, it's black on. Cool, that's even better. But she gave me the egg she gave me. that was not scrambled whatsoever. It was a folded over egg with cheese and those are not nice scrambled eggs. Scrambled eggs, you actually have to get in there and scramble. Look, see? See? This is scrambled eggs. You get in there, you scramble them up. Keep the movement going on them. Get the cheese when they get just about right where they're supposed to be. So I hear a lot of noise. That's that bacon popping. Take my cheese out. Throw my cheese in it. All right. And continue to scramble. Now I'm going to turn these on low. Because my, my bacon is almost done. Well, I'm going to open up the window so my alarm don't go off. I promise you I got the most sensitive fire alarm in the world. It's ridiculous how sensitive it is though. Uh. But I got my bacon going. It's almost done. My friend's talking to me telling me to close this. So I got to go close it and I'll be right back with y'all. Right? Stay with me. To the lady that owned that food truck. That's how you scramble eggs. See that? That's the scrambled egg. Then you take... Your salt and your pepper after the eggs are done. You throw a little bit on there. Huh? A little bit of salt. Huh? That's how you scramble an egg, man. That shit you gave me was not scrambled egg. Now we're gonna assemble the sandwich. Huh? Let me get my bacon first. Let me get my white two pieces. She like crispy turkey bacon. So I'm gonna get her two pieces. By the time I get upstairs, it's gonna be nice and crispy for her. Huh? I'm gonna scoop out me some scrambled eggs. Alright, see that? That's how you scramble eggs, man. I don't know what you did or how you cooked your eggs, but that's not how you scramble eggs. Know what you did. Alright. I'm gonna take it and spread out them eggs on the sandwich. I'm gonna let y'all see. Don't worry, I'm gonna let y'all see. See, that's what we got going so far. Right? Got them eggs nice and spread out on the sandwich. Let me scoot it down. Alright, there we go. I'm gonna take me them strips of turkey sausage. Remember, I cut them in strips, y'all, for a reason. All right? Throw them on there. All right? Got me some hash browns going, too, but they're going to have to wait till later. Yeah. All right? Then you take that French toast. All right? And you hit it with that butter. Where my butter at? Hit it with a little bit of that butter on top. All right? A little butter on top. Take it. Take that syrup. And just throw it over that sandwich. That's all you do. A little syrup over that sandwich. Bam. See that? Mm-hmm. And there you go, y'all. Cooking with tink. Nice little different sandwich. Might try it out. I'm gonna see how my wife likes it. I'm about to go upstairs also. I gotta go. I still ain't cooking my stuff yet. Look at my French toast is over here sitting sad as hell. But tell me what y'all think about that sandwich. Like, comment, subscribe. See well, Let me let me make it look pretty. Hold on. Let me make it even pretty real quick. Hold on. For the one time. Just for the one time. Mm -hmm. Put the nice little sliver of butter on top. What y'all think? Yeah. Now let me get, make, get take this upstairs to her. Because I got to make mine still. Y'all take them up my time.